And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Pisanosaurus, which was a request from Ricardo via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. Pisanosaurus was a primitive dinosauriform that lived in the Triassic in what is now La Rioja, Argentina. Just like the titanosaurs we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Since it's from the Triassic, it's a different formation, though. True. The Esquigualasto formation. There's an ongoing debate about whether or not Pisanosaurus is, in fact, a dinosaur. But at a minimum, it's a dinosaur form? Yes. Well, sort of. I, I will get into that. <laughs> <laughs> it was small, lightly built, probably bipedal. It had a small head, long legs. It was probably a fast runner. It was herbivorous. Oh, weird. Because it's an early dinosaur. I yeah. See. Yeah. Not a lot of herbivorous Triassic dinosaurs. I think that was based on its teeth. It was estimated to be 3.3 feet or one meters long and estimated to weigh between 5 to 20 pounds or 2.3 to 9.1 kilograms. A partial skeleton was found in 1962. The fossils were found by Jose Bonaparte, Rafael Herbst, and the preparators Martin Vince and Galileo Scaglia. The holotype includes a partial skull with parts of the right jaw and teeth, cervical vertebrae, dorsal vertebrae, rib fragments, parts of the pelvis, femora, tibia, fibula, parts of the toes, and more. Pretty good. It sounds like a lot, but it's actually very incomplete. There's a lot of fragments. Oh, so those are, yeah, parts of apply to all of those things. Yeah. Gotcha. And that's why it's been hard to classify this and whether or not it's actually a dinosaur. It was described in 1967 by Rodolfo Casamiquela. And the type species is Pisanosaurus mertii. The genus name means Pisano's lizard. It's in honor of the paleontologist Juan Arnaldo Pisano. And the species name is in honor of the naturalist Carlos Merti. It was originally thought to be a, quote, very primitive ornithopod that probably represents an ad hoc family, end quote. Casamiquela said that it was a surprise of a dinosaur, especially, quote, in light of the paucity of remains of representatives of the Ornithischia throughout the entire geologic column in South America, end quote. So when he named Pisanosaurus, he also named a new family Pisanosauridae, but that name's no longer used. As I mentioned, Pisanosaurus has been reclassified many times as a heterodontosaurid, fabrosaurid, hypsilophodont, the earliest known Ornithischian, and a Scylosaurid, which is a clade of dinosaur forms and the sister group to dinosaurs. And as I mentioned, that's mostly because of the incomplete fossils found. The orientation of the pubis of Pisanosaurus is unclear. Some reconstructions have it forward-pointing, like in saurus skins. In 1976, Jose Bonaparte redescribed Pisanosaurus and said it had some distinct characters, such as the hip joint being open and the metacarpals in the hand being long. In 1991 and 2012, Serino suggested Pisanosaurus was a chimera and that the skull fragments, pelvis, and distal hind limb could be from one individual, but the rest belonged to another taxon, based on the proportions not resembling the same shape or size of similar bones in heterodontosaurids, and he said there wasn't much justification for the association of the bones and impressions that had been found. In 2004, Norman and others suggested that the skull bones were ornithischian and the postcrania was similar to bones of a non-dinosaur. In 2007, Irmis and others said the fossils, quote, cannot be regarded as a chimera based simply on character incongruence between different regions of the body, end quote. In 2009, Novas accepted that the holotype of Pisanosaurus was one individual. Bonaparte in 1976 had included a sketch of the fossils the way he found them in the field, and it looked like it belonged to one individual. But then in 2012, Serino reiterated that he thought it was a chimera. Yes, so lots of debate around this. And in 2017, though, Federico Agnolin and Sebastian Rosadia wrote a paper about the phylogenetic reassessment of Pisanosaurus and agreed the fossils were all from one individual. So it sounds like they thought it was one individual for a long time. A bunch of people thought they were multiple individuals, and now we're more or less agreed that it's one individual again? Yes. There's been a lot of redescription of the features of Pisanosaurus, too. In the 2017 paper, they wrote about the fragmentary skeleton, including the partial jaws, dorsal vertebrae, four fragmentary vertebrae in an uncertain position in the column. 
It was thought to be caudal vertebrae, but then a later redescription found it to be cervical vertebrae, and then later it was thought to be something else. It was uncertain what. <laughs> There's hmm. also the impression of part of the pelvis and sacrum, partial hind limb, a left scapular blade that was lost, a probably metacarpal three, and impressions of some other metacarpals that were also lost. It's a bummer that they're losing things, too. That makes it harder and harder as time goes on. I'm sure that added to some of the confusion. So they talked about Pisanosaurus being described from an incomplete, poorly preserved skeleton. And that makes it really hard to describe. And they said parts of the description was tentative because of this. They also talked about a recent description of the clade Psilosauridae as having teeth like Ornithischians. And they suggested that Pisanosaurus was part of Psilosauridae, the non-dinosaurian dinosauriform, based on the teeth being similar. It had reduced denticles as well as teeth fused to the maxilla and dentary bone, and other similarities like the sacral ribs between two sacral vertebrae. They thought that Pisanosaurus had been previously thought to be an Ornithischian mainly because of its teeth and teeth-bearing bones. But they wrote, quote, However, it is worth noting that archosaurs, other than Ornithischians, showing such a specialized dentition were unknown before the early 2000s, end quote. And that's because Psilosaurus was described in 2003, and researchers in 2005 and 2007 mentioned how similar dentition in Revueltosaurus, a pseudosuchian, and basal psilosaurids show how the diversity of Triassic archosaurs with highly derived, quote-unquote, masticatory morphology, how they chewed, still isn't that well understood. And they said that this means that herbivorous-like dentition, you know, the teeth that made them probably herbivores, was more widespread than previously thought, and that herbivory happened more than once within archosaurs. Interesting. Well, we know that it happened more than once within archosaurs. We know it happened more than once within dinosaurs or even theropods. Mm -hmm. But I didn't realize that it happened as early as a Triassic. That's interesting. Yeah. Other than maybe sauropods or sauropodomorphs. So Pisanosaurus, the maxilla and dentary, had about 15 tooth positions, which is the same as Psilosaurus and Heterodontosaurus. The teeth found were very fragmented, weathered, and cracked. So it's hard to know the exact number of teeth or what they looked like. The dentary had characters considered to be Ornithischian. Originally, they were described as having, quote, barricade-like dentition. <laughs> hmm. But it's hard to compare them with Psilosaurus because the published specimens are incompletely preserved. Later descriptions found the teeth did not form a barricade-like dentition. So Pisanosaurus has some dental features in common with Ornithischians, like non-recurved, low-crown teeth. And low-crown teeth are like what humans have. But you can see these characters in, quote, several Triassic herbivorous archosaur lineages, including the Pseudosuchian, Revoltosaurus, and Psilosaurus, such as well, psilosaurs. The authors of this, we're still talking about the 2017 paper, tentatively reconstructed the pelvis to be cup-shaped, also known as acetabular morphology, and that's different from Ornithischians. They said that Pisanosaurus didn't have features that made it obvious that it was an Ornithischian or even a dinosaur, but it did have some features similar to other psilosaurids. And they mentioned how Pisanosaurus was thought to be a heterodontosaurid for a while, but heterodontosaurid teeth are different from Pisanosaurus. So they found Pisanosaurus to be a quote-unquote stem dinosaur, probably part of Psilosauridae, but it may also belong to a quote still poorly known clade of stem dinosaur forms. They concluded, based on phylogenetic analysis, that Pisanosaurus should not be considered the oldest known Ornithischian, which the author said was consistent with a 2011 study by Olson and others that found Ornithischian radiation happened after the Triassic-Jurassic boundary. Yeah, that's what I'm used to, is seeing it after the boundary. Mm -hmm. But there's been more debate. <laughs> also in 2017, Matthew Barron wrote, quote, Pisanosaurus mertii and the Triassic Ornithischian crisis, could phylogeny offer a solution? I'm guessing that's part of the Ornithoscolida thing, considering the author? <laughs> yeah, this was a separate paper, though. He wrote, quote, Here I propose that phylogeny could hold the solution to this problem. I examine how an alternative position for Ornithischia, nested either within Theropoda or Sauropodomorpha, could be the reason behind their later appearance and relative rarity in the early Jurassic. 
an early Jurassic origin of Ornithischia would force us to consider that the anatomical similarities between Ornithischians and early Jurassic taxa might not be convergences, and to broaden the current data sets of early dinosaurs to test these ideas. He's always mixing up that early dinosaur tree. Mm Mm-hmm. I enjoy it. (laughs) Me too. Then in 2020, Julia DeSoho and others looked at fossils from the late Triassic Isquigualasto formation, where Pisanosaurus was found. And they said that though three papers found Pisanosaurus to not be an Ornithischian, the, quote, Ornithischian affinity of Pisanosaurus mertii was only questioned on numerical phylogenetic grounds, end quote. So they looked at all the previous studies and the specimen, and they found it to be more likely as an Ornithischian than a Solosaurid. Oh, man. So we so go we're going back. back again. Yeah. They reviewed Pisanosaurus traits the anatomical traits, and they found that the traits that arguably made it a psilosaurid were traits that were plesiomorphic for dinosauriforms. It's an ancestral character. And it was also in other dinosauromorphs and early dinosaurs. They also found more than 10 characters shared by Pisanosaurus and Heterodontosaurids or other early Ornithischians among early dinosauriforms. So they said... Pisanosaurus it's from about 229 million years ago, and it's the oldest known Ornithischian in the latest Carnian, in the late Triassic. That is very old for an Ornithischian, about 30 million years older than any other ones I know of. Yeah, they specifically said it, quote, fills the long-speculated ghost lineage between younger members of that clade and the oldest known Sauruskian dinosaurs at 233 million years ago, end quote. They also said in the future there's going to be a quantitative analysis of the phylogenetic relationships of Pisanosaurus, but that was out of scope for their paper. Also in 2020, it's a big year for Pisanosaurus. Yeah. Mueller and Garcia had another hypothesis that Pisanosaurus was a transitional taxon between Psilosaurids and Ornithischians. Oh, that sounds like barren. Yeah. And then this year... It's actually coming out in the print version in October of this year, 2021. Fernando Novas and others came out with a review of the fossil record of early dinosaurs from South American and its phylogenetic implications that's been published in or will be published in the Journal of South American Earth Sciences. But it's available online, which is how I got it. So they wrote, quote, The early evolution of dinosaurs was a complex process that occurred in the context of a crowded ecospace, and they also wrote that, quote, there's no consensus about early dinosaur phylogeny, and our paper is not the exception. They did support the Ornithischia and Saurischia groupings, not Ornithischelida. And they studied a bunch of specimens, including Pisanosaurus. They mentioned some debate that psilosaurids may be included within Ornithischia, and it's easy to reinterpret how to classify their characters because they have a high degree of shared characters that are not from a common ancestor, also known as homoplasy. That's interesting that they, because the debate was, is it a psilosaurid, which isn't a dinosaur, or Mm -hmm. is it an ornithischian? And they're just saying, well, psilosaurids are ornithischians. (laughs) So that it doesn't really matter. Then either way, Pisanosaurus would be a dinosaur, and it's just which group is it in within Dinosauria? Yes. Well, they're Conclusion overall was, quote, there are currently major uncertainties concerning the phylogenetic relationships of Pisanosaurus. So it's just another case if you need more fossils. We still don't know for sure. Yeah, and that's basically what they said, right? Ours is no exception to mm-hmm. this list of inconsistencies. If Pisanosaurus is considered to be an Ornithischian, because it's the only one from the Triassic, it would help fill this 30 million year gap because the next known Ornithischians were from the early Jurassic, like Lesuthosaurus. Fossils of Pisanosaurus are in the Vertebrate Paleontological Collection at the Instituto Miguel Leo in Argentina. Pisanosaurus lived in a warm, humid climate with ferns, horsetails, and conifers, and other animals that lived around the same time and place included Herrerasaurus, Eoraptor, beaked reptiles, spiny armored reptiles, and lots of other herbivorous animals. And a bunch of non-dinosaurs. A lot of them were weird because it's a Triassic. Yep. Including maybe the non-dinosaur Pisanosaurus. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's unclear. <laughs> 
For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.